It's been a lot of things surfacing here on the internet lately, and a lot of people keep blowing me up, begging me to speak on it. Y'all know this really isn't my lane right here, but everybody wants to know how I feel about 1090 Jake's snitching allegations. So y'all sit back, get your popcorn ready, and we're going to jump right into this shit. I'm the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, I'll bust your lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lax on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try test And step two, cause violent first steps finesse And you a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man, k for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and I'll do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If this is your first time tuning in. My name is K-Frog. And almost everything I do on this channel is prison related. For this one here, I'm going to be touching a topic that I really ain't want to get myself involved in. But I said, you know what? I might as well speak on it. You know, due to the simple fact that I was kind of involved in the situation. All right. Now... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let y'all know, you know, word is that uh, people want to say that 1090 Jake is snitching, all right? First things first, I want to let y'all know straight up, I fought with 1090 Jake, you know what I'm saying? Me and him fell out before, but you know, it is what it is. Bygones are bygones, and at the end of the day, I ain't no hater or nothing like that, and I feel like a lot of people who want to push the issue and try to stretch, just be digging and digging and digging and try to like go after somebody that they're hating was more successful than they were. Okay, now, not that long ago, it surfaced how after he exposed a rapper from Broward County of being a rat, the rapper came out and put up a news clip of 1090 Jake when 1090 Jake was on the news. You know what I'm saying? And through it all, you know, people were doing a bunch of reaction videos and speaking on it and talking on it and everything like that. And they said, oh, man, you know, well, you're the one that told them that the officers were the ones bringing stuff in. You were the one telling them that, you know, this is what was at this institution. This was at that institution. You feel me? And one thing that I want to say and the reason I want to speak on this is they actually played a recap of me in that same exact footage from when 1090 Jake was on the news. That inmate you see banging on that door, that's me. That inmate that they ask... How'd you get the phones in? And I said, oh, I really don't feel like putting that out there. That's me. You know what I'm saying? So for people to be calling that man a snitch due to the fact that he was on the news and he was blaming shit on the COs, you know, or, you know, talking about what was inside of prisons, I want to speak on it because I've been on the news twice. You feel me? Three times if you count the time while in prison. You feel me? And the reason that I want to let y'all know that I feel like it's bullshit how people want to try to throw that out there at that man is because due to the simple fact that everything he said is common knowledge. You get what I'm saying? They've known for decades what was in prisons. They've known for decades guards sneak shit in. Guards get caught left and right before and after me or 1090 went to prison. You understand? Because at the end of the day, it's a way for people to get extra money. You see what I'm saying? So he basically just said common knowledge. He just said things that they already knew about. You understand? It isn't like that man got on the stand and gave a 5-hour to 12-hour confession and pointed at that officer and said, Yeah, that's the correction officer right there that was bringing the stuff in. That's the correction officer right there that was giving inmates drugs. You get what I'm saying? That's why I feel like a lot of people just be reaching. You know, they just be digging. They just, they hate seeing someone successful. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it's someone who's been digging for years. You feel me? We, we, we all done got out of prison damn near five years ago. Five plus. And you got people that still talk about the same people over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? You mean after five years, y'all still got the same person's name in your mouth. You on that boy's dick. You watch everything they do. You understand? And since I was on the news before myself, I felt like speaking on it. To let people know I feel like that is bullshit. That they want to throw that at that man. You feel me? Because when he was on the news back then, before he started doing this crime you know, content, when he was doing the prison content, when that boy was on the news back then, wasn't nobody saying that. And then like I made a video just a few videos ago. 
You feel me talking about paperwork should follow you? It's like I said in that video, rats normally want to try to say someone else is ratting just to bring them down with them. When they can't, you know, diffuse their own bomb that's going on about them telling or if something surfaces about them being a rat, first thing they try to do is try to tarnish the person who exposed them or the person who brought them out. You get what I'm saying? They try to talk back and forth, you know, and try as much as they can for digging, digging, digging. And this shit's been going on for years. It's mostly rats that are trying to talk shit about 1090 Jake for being on the news. I'm just being real with you. And this is the way I look at it. You feel me? It isn't like he said anything that they didn't already know. You feel me? It's common knowledge. You feel me? And like I said, I fought with 1090 and he knows that. You feel me? And I know for a fact what he did right there was not telling. You feel me? Now you go inside of an interrogation room and you break shit down and you tell on people, you tell them police things they didn't even ask, you volunteer to go point things out, show them who someone is or where someone lives or what they drive or what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, that's telling. You get what I'm saying? If you sit there and you find yourself in a situation and you're trying to put all the blame on someone else, that is telling. You get what I'm saying? That ain't it. That's just the first allegation we're going to speak on. Second allegation that surfaced about 1090 Jake is this paper right here. Apparently, you know, back in 2012, he ended up, you know, giving a, a, a witness statement out there or whatnot, allegedly. You feel me? And you got to look at it, man. Like, back in the day, you know, people didn't tell. People kept that shit 100. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to break it down about this whole situation let you know how I feel about it. And I'm going to break it down the most cool, calm, and collective way as possible. To be 100% with y'all, the way that I 100% feel about this whole situation with what happened with 1090 Jake back in 2012 when he was probably like 17 years old, I give zero fucks about. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I'm tired of people messaging me and wanting me to speak on the situation. And I'm going to let you know why I give zero fucks about it. One, the man was younger back then. Two, he did basically what anybody else would have done. If you think about it, if somebody shoots your house up or shoots your family member's house up and the police show up there and they want you to give a statement of anything you've seen and you're like, oh yeah, it was the dude in the blue hat. Oh, I don't know who he is though, but I seen someone in a blue hat and someone in a purple sweater. And they run down and they find someone in a blue hat and a purple sweater and they take them to jail. At the end of the day, what you said is, is it's like you put it out there. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that could happen to anybody. Okay? Take this for an example. If you're younger or if you're at your house, your mom's house, just say you're at your mom's house one day and say one of her ex-boyfriends show up there. Right? Say they show up there and they're banging on the door and they're threatening, oh, bitch, open the door, yada, 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 let me in, I'm going to beat your ass, screaming. Your mom freaks out, calls 911. Right? Police show up and they pull you to the side and they're like, hey, uh, hey, kid, you know, um, what happened? Did you hear anything? Did he threaten your mom? Did he do this? What are you going to say? I guarantee you 9 out of 10 people, if not 10 out of 10, are going to be like, he was banging on the door and he was screaming, saying he was going to hit my mom. And then they'll take that dude to jail. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a total difference when someone breaks into your shit or someone does something to your shit and you're just giving a statement rather than it is you going and putting the police on somebody. Think about it. If someone broke into your house today, broke in, vandalized your whole shit and stole all your shit, right? Would you or would you not call the cops and make a report of it? Think about it. You worked hard for all your shit. You earned everything you got. So at the end of the day, someone breaks in your shit, robs your shit, and if they do it again and they fuck around and they get clapped the next time they come, you're going to have a paper trail to show I've already reported a burglary and a robbery in the past. So, you know, next time I was prepared. I got kids to protect. or so whatever it is that you tell them. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like if you're not someone that's purposely trying to put the police on somebody or if you're just a victim at the end and you say something, I feel like nine times out of 10, almost everybody would do that. You know, some people say they would never have to call the cops in their life. They would never ever use the law. They'd never dial 911. I smell bullshit, okay? Because the people who they feel like is allowed to do it 
is people who are civilians, who aren't gang related, who aren't in the streets, who aren't, you know, drug dealing, who aren't hustling, just normal people that work nine to fives that are square, they're, they're a green bean. You know what I'm saying? They feel like that's just normal. They can tell. You see what I'm saying? But if something happened one day, you were walking down the street with one of your kids or something, and someone out of the blue just came up out of nowhere, knocked you clean out, and you wake up and your kid's missing, who are you calling? Be honest. Feel me? Only a, a person that is ignorant and a person that won't keep it real with their own self is going to say, oh, I'm going to keep it in the streets. This ain't the movies. You know what I'm saying? There's always a situation where the police will be needed, bro. You just never found yourself in that type of situation. A real person is calling the cops if someone took their kid. Straight like that. I don't give a damn how gangster you are, how savage you are. You will call 911 one day if you needed to. You understand? But people who've never been in that type of situation or never came into any situation like that, they want to talk down on somebody that has. And through it all, I really don't give a damn what somebody said. Apparently, you know... He heard shots, 1090 Jake heard shots, and then when they went in there, he seen two holes in the window, and he seen two different individuals, he identified what they were wearing, and later on they got caught, or whatever it is. I really don't care about none of this, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like people are just digging just to try to tarnish someone's reputation, all because they're hating, because that man's doing way better than them. You feel me? And I'm not no hater. You feel me? I'm not no baller blocker or none of that. You feel me? I salute to everybody who's doing what they should be doing. I salute to everybody that gets money. Anybody that grows in any kind of way that isn't a person that sits inside of a interrogation room and sits there and gives hours and hours and hours of statements or somebody who just sees something go down and they call 911 and report it. You know, I don't, I don't believe in that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when it's this situation and it's other situations that are out there, you can't put the two and two in the same boat. You can't put the two and two together. It's totally different. You understand? Makes common sense. You know, you got to think about it. If you're someone that never's been in that life at all, never been into crime, never been in the robbing, never been in the stealing, any type of crime, and you're sitting there and you're known as a civilian and you see somebody break into your neighbor's house down the street and you call 911 because you see someone breaking in down there. People are going to feel like you're not a snitch because due to the fact that you're not in the streets like that. Now, if you're someone that breaks into people's shit, robs people's houses, steals things, and then someone does it to you, then you call 911. Then I look at it totally different because you signed up for that life. You was in that life. You get what I'm saying? That's why me, this whole situation about this paperwork and this him being on the news... I 100% don't give a damn about none of this shit. I just wanted to tell y'all the way that I look at it and the way that I feel like reacting to it. You see what I'm saying? Because it's none of my business and I really don't care. I don't give two shits. But so many people want to hit me up asking me to, oh, talk about it. How you feel about this? Do reactions about that. Whatever somebody else does does not pay my bills. Whatever else they do does not have anything to do with the way that I live my life. That's why I am my team. And at the end of the day, I fought with 1090. You feel me? And he knows that. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it and act like, oh yeah, bro, this and that, this and that. No, I'm not going to clout chase. You feel me? It took a big part of my own pride to make a video with 1090 Jake's name in the description. And you wanna know why? Because anybody who truly knows me knows one thing for sure, K Frog is not a clout chaser. You know what I'm saying? You got people out there that make hundreds of videos, hundreds, back to back, back to back, back to back, with somebody's name who has clout in it because they want that type of attention. They want limelight, they want any fucking subscribers they can gain or anything off of an individual. Me, personally, even though I was in the video clip on the news during 1090's actual time, he hit the news. It still killed me to make this video. You understand? Because I don't want people to even think I'm clout chasing. I don't want people to even look at it like, oh, look, he's just trying to gain subscribers. I'm not here for none of that. You know what I'm saying? I stay in my own lane for a reason. You know what I'm saying? A lot of other people, they just, and they want to lie in the descriptions. They want to do whatever they can for clout. You feel me? Straight up. You think about it. If, if this man's a snitch, 
Well, the only people who were pushing the issue so hard were people that got caught for ratting. People that were snitches themselves. Don't forget that. You understand? All the new subscribers that people will join, like channels and, and people will gain from making videos about someone who's got clout and someone's name that's got clout, at the end of the day, it's only going to be a matter of time until them same people that you gained go to look at and realize and all the shit that's on you. You feel me? Stay in your own lane. Mind your business. And when it comes to the two situations with 1090 Jake, I don't give a shit about none of them. You feel me? I say this all the time. I am my team. It don't get more realer than this. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, if you were at your mom's house and somebody came to your crib, and this is not what happened, but if somebody came to your crib and was threatening your mom and you were younger and she called the cops and they opened the door and asked you, what did you see, son? And you tell him, and they arrest that man. What, are they going to wait until you're 20 years later and they're going to pull it out the woodworks and be like, oh, well, look, when he was a juvenile, he did this, he did that. That shit's for the birds. You know what I'm saying? That shit's bygone. Let bygones be bygones. Nowadays, you got people that are YouTubers that snitch when they were adults. That literally, like, was all up on the camera snitching, ratting, got people arrested, had people do time. Feel me? Real deal police talking like you see in First 48. You know what I'm saying? That right there, we don't tolerate. Those are cockroaches. You feel me? Cockroaches deserve to be squished, stepped on. Straight up. That's what it is. Because if you keep one around, they're just going to attract other cockroaches. And the next thing you know, you're infested. You're surrounded by a bunch of them. Straight up. That's how I feel about the situation. So I felt like coming on here, let y'all know how I feel about the 1090 Jake snitching allegations. At the end of the day, y'all remember... Do your own thing. Fuck what everybody else got going on. Everybody else want to worry about the drama, the gossip, the hatred. You know, how much money this man's making and all this different shit. I'll say it again. Man, been out of prison over five years, y'all. Five years. You feel me? And got people still talking my name or people talking 1090's name. Anybody that's been to prison around the same time I was that makes prison content, man, you need to find your own rally, your own path, your own fucking route. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit gets so old. You think about it. People ruin the prison genre. You know what I'm saying? They watered it down, got caught, so it made it watered down, and then they just started damaging and demolishing the prison genre, dog. You feel what I'm saying? And it's just, it's crazy because people who ain't been to prison can really learn from some of these videos. You know what I'm saying? And that's what people come here for. But it turned more into gossip. Came more into clout chasing. Haters. And I guarantee you this. It's been five years. Five more years from now, that'll be a total of ten years. In 2028, motherfuckers are still going to have K-Frog and 1090's name in their mouth. Then that's going to be damn near... Almost 15 years altogether that we've been out of prison. And people still talk that shit. You feel me? You got to look at it, man. It's time to get past that shit. All that shit, I don't care who tells. I don't care who does what. I don't care who's not a rat, who is a rat. All I care about is me. K Friggy the Frog, and that's how it is. But anyways, that's how I feel about the whole situation. I hope y'all happy y'all got the video out of me. At the end of the day, I don't care. Salute to 1090 Jake. You already know what it is. East side to the world then. Till next time, keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, motherfuckers who live behind the keyboard. You know what I'm saying? They want to celebrate because they got some more subscribers. But to all them subscribers, find out how low ball you truly are, how you broke, you a bum, you ain't got no money, you live with your peoples. You know what I'm saying? You'll tell on anybody. It could be a female. It could be a fucking dog that commits the crime. And yeah, it's going to testify. It could be a baby. It could be someone eight years or younger. And you'll sit there and say, the eight-year-old did he. Want me to show you where he lives? I'll show you which room his crib's in. I'll show you the nursery rhyme he listens to as he goes to sleep. You know, all that shit, man. Keep them type of people out your circle. Stay in your own game room and get you some money. Till next time, this the one and only. I am my team, and I mean it. Frog. I'm a criminal. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit, though. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit, though. Cause I'm a criminal. Yeah, I'm a criminal.